SignLab 9 is packed full of new design and production tools, as well as a wealth of new plugins. In this feature presentation, we'll look at the new wood effect, and then the new follow contour feature, which has further enhanced the fit object to path tool set. Okay, so on screen you can see the design I have put together using a combination of vectored shapes and plugins. So let's switch to my start objects. With the fill turned off, you can see it's just a few basic vectored shapes and some text. First, let's select the background and then launch the new wood effect from the image menu. In the settings here, I'm going to select inside clipped for this effect and the image quality can be left on its default setting. The user interface for the wood effect allows me to choose from a range of predefined settings as well as adjust custom properties to achieve a range of different results. There is also a neat bevel function built into this plugin that will give the finished sign a nice profile. OK, so I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm just going to click OK, which will return me to the main SignLab interface. And you can see I now have my nice wood effect on the background image. Using the Bevel Boss tool located in the iCandy plugins, I'm going to use this vectored pore shape to create a cutout in the wooden background. Now, like the wood plugin, the iCandy interface is simple to use and contains presets as well as the ability to apply custom settings. I'm going to use the inner carve preset here with a few tweaks to get the finished look. OK, all looking good. OK, so using the iCandy chrome effect, I can add the final gold look and adjust the bevel at the same time. With that done, I'm going to click on OK and again return to the SignLab interface. And you can see that's my design complete. A nice, quick, simple way to create an eye-catching design using just one of the new plugins you'll find in SignLab 9. Now, the Fit Object to Path feature has been enhanced in SignLab 9 with the addition of the Follow Contour option. On screen, I have a design and all the elements have been created in SignLab. I want to add the finishing touches now by placing light bulbs around the edge of the main sign frame. Using the Fit Object to Paths tool and the Follow Contour feature, I can not only make the bulbs follow the shape, but also automatically rotate to sit naturally along my chosen path. OK, so here is my light bulb shape. Now, before I place it on the sign, I'm going to add a subtle glow using the iCandy Gradient Glow plugin. OK, so again, I'm just basically using a preset here with a few added tweaks. OK, that should do fine. So now back in SignLab, I'm going to place this rectangle on top of the main sign frame, and this will be my path for the light bulbs to follow. If I double click on the rectangle, you can see the nodes that make up the object. I can select a single node to act as my start point. With that done, I'm going to select both the rectangular shape and the light bulb, and then launch the Fit to Path tool from the Transform menu. First, I'm going to place the number of objects I want to repeat in this box. And then I simply need to select the Follow Contour option here at the bottom. And that's about it. If I now click OK, the bulbs will be placed around the edge of my design and they will also automatically rotate as required as they follow my chosen path. SignLab 9 is packed full of easy to use design tools just like this. And remember, SignLab 9 also boasts full transparency support for both vector and bitmap objects. Take a look at the glow I added to my bulbs earlier. There are no hard edges or white boxes here, and the edges blend perfectly with my background, creating a natural effect, all thanks to these new added transparency features. Check out our other feature presentations on the web at www.cadlink.com.